Hey guys, I'm using Screencastify right now. There's a little lag on my internet that 321 doesn't usually show up in the screencasts. Uh, but I just want to show you how to make a video in Screencastify. So I'm in the tab mode right now. So it just shows the current tab that I'm in. Um, and there's some cool features. If you click on the, well, first of all, I'll just show you the highlight mouse click. So when I click anything, there's a red circle around it, which is great so that students know exactly where you're clicking on the screen. Um, so that's a helpful feature. For other features, you go down to the toolbar on the bottom left. And if you click on, the, if you just hover over the cursor, uh, some tools come up. The focus mouse is like a flashlight. So you could show um, exactly what you're doing. Um, and that's how, you know, I would walk students through how to save their file and they would see exactly what part of the screen I am on. Um, other, you, just to turn it off, you just go back and click it again and it goes off. The next feature in the middle that hides the cursor when it's not moving so that it's not a distraction on the screen. And again, to turn that off, you just go back and the one on the right is the highlight clicks. That's this red circle. So that's there um, automatically, but you can turn it off if you want to. There's also annotation tools. So there's a pen and um, it's on red by default. And you can circle what you want to on the screen. And then you can erase it using the erase tool, which is right next to the pen. Um, you can change the color of the pen if you want to, and you can write right on the screen with that. Um, the tool next to the eraser, the picture of the camera, is that's how you toggle on and off the embedded webcam. So the webcam would show up on the bottom right of the screen down here. It would be a small uh, picture from your webcam, so it's you as you're speaking right now um, if you want the students to see you while you're teaching. Those drawing and annotation tools are only available in tab mode, which is one of the main reasons that I use tab mode. Um, I also don't have a real need to show my whole desktop. But you can toggle back and forth between tabs. So you just click on the new tab that you want. Then a notification comes up. I just press close. I click on the Screencastify icon in my toolbar and click record this tab and it switches over to the new tab so then this tab is being recorded and you can switch back and forth i'm going to go back to my original tab again i close the notification and then click on record this tab in the screencastify menu when i click on the screencastify um, icon so that's how you use Screencastify. Um, you can, right now we have a five minute time limit because this is the free version. I find the, the five minutes is fine for me. I break my lessons up into five minute chunks and I just keep an eye on the time. Um, a box will show up on the bottom left when you have 30 seconds left right above the toolbar. And, um, that's useful because you know it gives you an idea that hey i've got 30 seconds left and it counts down from 30 seconds it does show up in your screencast though so you want to keep an eye on that um, i usually dismiss it but if you want the 30 second countdown you can do you can leave it there i just set a five minute timer on my phone so i have an idea of when the video is going to end um, so usually i'll break my lessons up into five minute increments and the kids can just go from one video to the next. And to stop your video, you just press the Screencastify icon, and there's a few buttons there. One is stop to stop the video, one's pause, one's restart, and one is just trash this video. So I'm gonna press stop now, and that's my introduction to Screencastify.